peace, professor. Okay, um, now I'm going to present to you my final. It's called Tyler Perry's Medea's Big Happy Family, The Do's and Don'ts of the Black Family. Tyler Perry Medea's Big Happy Family was a play that was brought to the big screen in 2011. Tyler Perry is one of the producers as well as an actor in the film. He plays two characters such as Medea, a tough, <laughs> funny elderly woman and an elderly man who's also funny and carries his cane like he carries insults, uh, Joe. Other famous actors in this film include Tam Tamala Mann, who plays Cora Brown, and her husband, David Mann, who plays Mr. Brown, Cora's father. Uh, and as well as Loretta Devine, who plays Miss Shirley, the, uh, hierarch the matriarch in the family. Okay. This movie is centered around Shirley as she just got news that she has cancer after having a seven-year ongoing battle with it. And she strives to bring her family together to tell them that she's dying. Much of the movie is spent getting her family together and the tensions arise between Kimberly, played by Shannon Kane, and uh, Tammy, yes, played by Natalie Ann DeSelli Reed, I believe. May she rest in peace. Okay. The viewers are introduced to a short cartoon version of the story in the beginning of the movie. Then reality kicks in when the viewers see Shirley and Aunt Bam in the doctor's office <laughs> before they got the news. You can tell they have a close bond. Shortly after, the doctor comes in and breaks the news that her cancer is back. But that is not the only issue this mother's family has to confront. Kimberly plays the older, oldest sister, who is depicted as angry, mean, and disrespectful, especially when it comes to her mother and her sister. They all meet at dinner one day when Tammy and her older sister got into an argument that resulted in one family member knowing the truth about their past and their present relationships. The situation comes up again near the end of the movie as Medea gets the family together and together they uncover or they find out the truth about one of their siblings past and essentially uh, their mother's past. Which became one of the larger issues in the movies besides the cancer plot in my opinion. Since I watched the film multiple times, I've gained different experiences from the information I was previewed to. Upon learning about Tyler Perry's childhood, I learned how he connected, how he wrote some of the characters, which <laughs> connected me to the movie more and made the emotional scenes uh, more important. To me, it was not just a funny movie. Uh, well, now that I watched it again, <laughs> To me, it's not just a funny movie anymore. It's more, it hits home a little more, uh, only because the uh, issues uh, involving minors is uh, prevalent in all families, but especially black families, and how they go about that issue. Um, much of the music, to me, was instrumental and I did not care for. However, when the song that played during the climax of the movie, Tired by Kelly Price, it brought more emotion to the scene, especially when you see, when you have scenes of Shirley uh, getting her blood tested and reminiscing about her children arguing at the dinner table. Uh, another song that was also good was Heaven Waits. It was a very emotional scene for the uh, scene that shows or for the event that occurred during that song. Oh, the lyrics, <laughs> may I say the lyrics of Tired by Kelly Price also was depicted in the movie as they had baby mamas and ghetto drama. Yeah, that was some of the lyrics, okay. Uh, as far as cin cinematography goes, it was very basic. Uh, the camera techniques and the editing techniques was very basic. Uh, they did have a couple transitions, such as the fade-in transition uh, from the cartoon version of the movie to the beginning real-life version of the movie. And as well as the fade transition when sh after Shirley got her news and it faded into the next scene. Medea's house, however, gave off the impression of the Southern feeling. It was very small. It was located in the hood. But the interior design 
was amazing. You could tell that it was an older woman's home simply because of the patterns and uh, the colors. And she had plastic on her couches. <laughs> yeah. It definitely gave that old school uh, impression, which Medea says in the, vid in the um, movie. History, race, and gender affected how I see this movie now since I learned some, you know, some new information about Tyler Perry's childhood um, and also about uh, the different events in the movie, uh, such as assault um, and the question of, you know, who is the parent and who isn't the parent and how long has that child not known or known? Um, I would say Tyler Perry's story, now that I heard of it <laughs> a couple of days ago, helped forward the thematic con the thematic content, unlike the camera and the editing techniques. You know, it was very basic for 2011. Um, overall, it's a very funny movie. It will make you and your family laugh. However, certain events and issues are briefly discussed. They were touched on, but to me, not enough. And while I understand films have timestamps, those... Um, those topics, those serious topics and issues every family and every person should have, especially with the people uh, they're around, should have been discussed more. Should have been discussed more in depth. Um, that's basically it. I don't know if I would recommend this film. However, I would, upon people watching it, I would recommend that they draw up questions about assault and different things of that nature. Besides the cancer plot, the underlying plots were also great. It should be discussed in a more serious light. But that is all. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you, professor. It was a great class. Um, peace. Okay. <laughs>